Jeremy here with Online Business Talk. Now in this episode, we'll be taking you on another quick tour of one of our favorite tools for online business. It's a product called Kajabi. Kajabi is an easy to use click and drag system, whether you want to create your own custom website, sales pages, merchandise pages, blog, or create and sell your online course. It's perfect for all types of content creators out there. Now to thank you for watching and subscribing to our channel, we've created a free course for you to help you jumpstart your Kajabi journey. Just go to velocitystock.com backslash Kajabi. That's velocitystock.com backslash Kajabi. This link will take you to the free Kajabi starter course we've recorded for you. And you can also select our affiliate link to redeem your 30 day free Kajabi trial. All right, let's take a look at the next feature in our website design. Of course, you can go up here to the template store like we've shown you before, and you can pick out any template that you want to. We've already got a template, and we've deleted some items on there and made it really simple so that we can see some of these other features that you can add. We're going to select Customize Page, go back into our website. We only have a few things on here. And again, if you wanted to delete out a section, you just select, okay? And you can then go down and hit delete the section and that'll delete out that section okay also another thing you could do is you could just rest over that section at this area there's hero features add section if i wanted to delete hero i could go in here and duplicate it rename it hide it or delete it okay so now we just have a header a footer and in the middle we have a features area okay so if I want to add we know how to delete now what if I want to add if I want to add well we've talked about accordion we've talked about the blog post feature and now we're going to talk about the call to action feature okay so we'd simply go here we'd select and if that's what we wanted if we didn't want that we could just go to the next feature okay just to see what it looks like okay and just right through all the features but if we want the call to action feature then we hit add which is great that you don't have to commit to it yet until you hit add okay so at that point we've committed to it we said we want that at any time we can scroll down here and hit delete if we want to delete it back out we can go back in and add it again if we need to add it hit add and you have to make sure you've added it. and at that point then you can go in here and select and then you can start changing any of the wording and edit that. Maybe we want to say what you will learn. Okay. Uh, maybe we want to edit this area right here. Maybe put some bullet points in. Maybe we want to change this button instead of call to action. A lot of people won't know what call to action means. That's more of our terminology on this side of the website where you're building it. But maybe we want to say free workshop okay to entice our customer okay free workshop that sounds a whole lot better and maybe in this case we want it to be outlined you can make it be outline or solid or small medium or large uh, maybe you want a, a larger button or just automatically a normal button you maybe you want a different color button okay uh, maybe you possibly want a, kind of a louder button right or possibly maybe you want a custom color you can go in here and customize that color as well okay and then you can also get into the area right here of the actual photo behind you can select a photo and go in here real easy and we can pick a photo select it and that would be how you change the photo just picking and selecting a photo that's already on your computer. You can also change the overlay so that there's no overlay, but you probably do want to have an overlay because you want that overlay overlay to be a little bit darker, whatever photo you put back here, so that you can read the words. Okay. Background color, you can change that, that overlay color, and you can change the text color that's on here as well. Okay. You can also deselect the background image if you don't want to have any kind of background image or deselect that overlay that we talked about okay and it's as simple as that um, you can hit spacing down here to make it larger or smaller the area maybe you want a large area because you've got a lot of text or maybe you want a very small area because you just want the width of it to be small you, it's, it's totally up to you how you want this to be okay 
And then finally, most important is this link. This would be a link, so you want to make sure uh, that you have that link right in here. And we can show you later how to do that, but basically that's just a, a navigation procedure wherever this would be taking you, which would be, this is your home page, so this would be taking you to an, uh, an actual page that um, actual address would go right in this place right here so that when they select this button it would take them to that actual addressed page on your website okay and then there's a selection here that what will happen when they hit that button in this case we want to go to go to url but if you wanted to you could make it be that it goes to a sales page a checkout page a pipeline any number of things an opt-in any number of things could happen if they select this button okay